It's easy to forget, but even the greatest, most talented hosts are actually only human. So even if they're the best of the best, things still do go wrong sometimes, but that does make it so much more entertaining for everyone watching. For your viewing pleasure, here's a collection of those moments that embarrassed people would rather forget, but that we can get a good laugh out of. So here are the top 25 embarrassing moments caught on live TV, funniest fail videos. Before we continue don't forget to hit that like button also subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Let's begin. During WLTV Good Morning reporter David Williams was reporting on live news. But during the report broadcast, a woman, wearing a unicorn's head, appeared to taunt Williams by running up to the reporter, waving her arms in the air and making bizarre noises. Watch as he remains stoic throughout the encounter. We have to admit, we would have lost it. Just left, the fire truck just left, and there's a uh, firefighter there right now, uh, but uh, everyone is out safe. We're live now. David Williams, first coast is ABC 12, ABC 25, back to you. There's nothing quite like in an unexpected photo bomb during a live broadcast. After the budget, the Minister of State for Civil Aviation was talking to reporters outside Parliament when a girl standing behind him decided to photo bomb his interview. What should have been a normal day at work took a turn for the serial for one TV journalist when he was relentlessly pursued by a pig live on air. This reporter Lazos Manticos probably won't forget in a hurry when a pig hogged his limelight. This reporter at China's CCTV English Channel had just begun the show in Beijing when one of her high heels fell off and flew across the studio floor. But like a true professional, she carried on introducing the agenda without missing a beat. CCTV News Headquarters in Beijing. This is Asia Today. Hello and welcome. I'm. This is Asia Today. Hello and welcome, I'm Steve Mandanda was speaking to a reporter in a post-match interview when a water bottle was seen flying towards him, but Mandanda being the great keeper that he is, was successful in grabbing it with his fast reflexes. For the title of this title, today we have had the good chance of the water. A reporter Mario Diaz was reporting on a news story when Erika Badu crashed a New York City television reporter's live broadcast. Um, make his first appearance, but in this case, uh, LaBeouf did not have that, and LaBeouf obviously, LaBeouf obviously kept on moving. Um, make his first appearance, but in this case, uh, LaBeouf did not have that, and LaBeouf obviously, LaBeouf obviously. Fox Sports reporter Aaron Andrews was given a quick report on Bruno Mars, headlining the 2013 Super Bowl halftime show, when this random bearded man and his friend stole the show with this incredible deer and headlights video of them. Hello, and I rushed over here from MetLife doing the game with John, the Jets Bucks game, because you guys announced this morning that who, what other artists are going to be joining Bruno Mars during the halftime show. So I'm excited to hear about that. Hopefully, I can meet them and. Straight next time, can you tell me to wear a little sunscreen? This is from Jets Box. Are you joking? I, I brought this to you guys. Hey, you During the live show, this guest Nina Dobrev showed just how she fit and strong she really is as she appeared on the Conan O'Brien show. She uses Conan as her human yoga wall. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> huh? During live news reporting, this reporter Pruva Ladhia is a moment that she embarrassed, and I think after this, she should better get into a closet or hire someone to protect her dress from being lifted up like this. Not to stand next to a lion for the very first time, but the pitiful thing is that the woman thought that the lion was very friendly. A TV news reporter Marie Waxel got the fright of her life when a lion sneaked up on her during filming. You and I put on jackets and we bump up the heat in our homes to be comfortable to brace ourselves against the frigid temperatures. But what about you and A's Leo and Yuna? Oh, no, Meet Mr. Mayhem, the paddleboarding goat. He likes to get out and do activities with owner Alyssa Kelly, a Boise resident who thought it would be a fun activity to try with her adventurous goat.
One Australian reporter has discovered firsthand the perils of chasing down a difficult interview when this happened. Kendall Jenner was on an episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. And the supermodel played Food or Not Food, a game show. The first round had shoes as the everyday items. And Kendall got a mouthful rubber shoe. Is it food or is it... No. <laughs> definitely rubber. It's definitely rubber. <laughs> it's rubber. <laughs> it's the kind of thing you might see in a Disney movie. But it's happening when you meet Duke, the calf, and Rex, the chicken. These two adorable animals have become an inseparable duo at the sanctuary. Duke was born without bones in his legs, and also has dwarfism. And his best friend Rex, was brought to the sanctuary by a neighbor, after they worried the other chickens were going to hurt him. It's been a smooth one, and he said that the two players really complement each other well, and that's been the big reason. Really into the blues, and every now and then we went out to a different jazz blues bar, and the harmonica just really kind of just got into my blood. Yeah, it's good. Do you play yourself? And I no, I just got one though, and I want to learn. So maybe you could be my teacher. No, no, I can't. Maybe I could. The man who was trying to impress with a bowling trick shot ended up in a hilarious way. during the halftime show of the Toronto Raptors vs New Jersey Nets game. This is the moment a Los Angeles TV reporter shoved a pedestrian out of his camera, shot in the middle of filming a live segment. KPLA, and we're told that when he did that, uh, he actually, that was top of mind with him, that this was about to happen on... The Washington TV news reporter and his cameraman were stung by honeybees after a truck carrying millions of the insects overturned on the highway. reporter Rena Roy wanted to cool down, just not like this. During a live broadcast featuring kids having a water throwing things were all going swimmingly for her. We have all these kids out here they're having so much fun out here in the water, just hanging out, getting wet, staying cool in this heat. I mean, I'm getting out! Okay. Detroit Red Wings fan trying to photobomb news broadcast slips on ice. If you don't have a ticket for the game, it is cold, but you should come on down and join the fanfare. It's really a cool environment, guys. So we're going to send it back to you in the Toasty Warm studio. Check out this drunken college game day video bomb of ESPN reporter David Pollock during the Clemson vs. Florida State college game. This keeps going, and going, and going. The threat of an impending hurricane wasn't enough to scare the pants off these two buff Germans, but they were more than happy to remove their shirts and do a strange dance for news cameras during a live storm update. Das Hochwasser ist durch. Es hat in seiner Spitze 7,40 Meter erreicht. Normal sind 6,40 Meter. Und mit diesen 7,40 Meter ließ er auch noch einen halben Meter Platz bis zur Hafenkante, sodass nur an den tiefer gelegenen Gebieten es etwas rüber geschwappt ist. Im Moment hofft man hier in Norddeich, dass der Wind so lausch bleibt, wie er im Moment ist und vor allen Dingen, dass er weiterhin aus südwestlichen Richtungen weht. Thank you for watching my video until the last second. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch many more interesting videos. Now goodbye.